Welcome back to RTM and our road trip to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. So we find this great outdoor place where you climb in these huge see-through spheres and go down these crazy hills. It was a total blast. Yeah, so how does Mr. Class start off the interview? We heard you have the biggest balls in Pigeon Forge. Uh, that's been said before, All for right. sure. I've mean, come up with a couple <laughs> others. I'm Maybe. trying, yeah. I'm trying to get there. We got our new shirts on. Right? Oh, go. What does it mean? What's it stand for? Okay, it's outdoor gravity orb. It's an 11 foot ball, then it's got a six foot interior ball, and it's held together by uh, like 120 nylon strings. Hmm. So we just climb in them and they roll us down the hill, right? Now, Chris, we get into these things. Am I gonna go head over heels and by the time I'm down to the bottom, I'm gonna feel sick to my stomach? No way. Uh, it's an 11 foot ball. I put 10 gallons of water in it, up to three people at a time, push you down the hill. When you said, Two to three people inside it. Mm -hmm. So, like, Nick and I can go inside together? Sure, yep. About the shared experience just as much as it is the challenges of running down the hill. Look, we're close. Oh, we ain't that close. Hey, hey I'm saying separate cabs. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that, be honest with you. <laughs> There's three different platforms at Ogo. Which means three different rides. And three different rushes. We have the red track, which is a funnel. It's two or three people. That's uh, our newest attraction. Just added that last year. It's become our most popular ride. On the far side over here, we have the orange track. That's our extreme zigzag. That's one person ride only. And then down the middle, we've got the fast tracks where you can take the challenge and try and run the whole hill. Five people have done it since we've opened. Now everyone knows we're athletes, but we'll save our strength and this time stay seated on these runs. Hey, are we <laughs> supposed to take our shirts off for this? Uh, Some people wear their shirts yeah, as well. I don't think the American public is ready for that, <laughs> so I'm going to keep mine on. Then you'll be fine. I'd have to say ditto here, buddy. I ain't <laughs> taking mine off and just getting fan mail. What happened to you, Nick? Why do you look like Man, that? Really, let yourself go. I don't need that. <laughs> <laughs>